certain crimes are just so horrible that they shock the conscience. This is one of them. For years, he was considered skateboarding's biggest star before he confessed to a brutal rape and murder. Tomorrow, a state parole board will decide if a Carlsbad man nicknamed Gator should be allowed back on our streets. Our 10 News anchor Derek Stahl shows us what the board will have to consider. Mark Gator Rogowski was a world champion skateboarder in the 80s who drew comparisons to Tony Hawk. This is what he looks like now. My identity as a man was skewed. I thought it meant what it meant to be a man was to be a womanizer, to have a lot of relationships. In this video by a nonprofit, Rogowski says he's taken accountability and found a higher power after nearly three decades behind bars. But Deputy DA Richard Sachs doesn't buy it. This was a horrific, heinous, monstrous crime by an individual who really doesn't want to admit that he took out transferred rage on another innocent individual. In 1991, Rogowski invited Jessica Bergston to his Carlsbad apartment. She was a friend of the girl who had just dumped him, and in a fit of what he called misplaced revenge, Rogowski clubbed her over the head, sexually assaulted her for hours, then stuffed her into a surfboard bag, strangled her, and buried her in the desert. Any man who could take a 22-year-old girl that he didn't really know and take out his rage at his girlfriend breaking up at him onto this 22-year-old girl and then proceed to torture, rape, and murder her is going to be a very dangerous man that should stay in prison. Rogowski was denied parole in 2011 and 2016. A parole board will again decide on Tuesday if he remains a threat to the community. Here we are again for the third hearing, too early. And we're going to be advocating very strongly that his parole be denied. Sachs says Bergston's father will be at the hearing, still devastated by the loss of his only daughter. Derek Stahl, 10 News. And 10 News will also be inside the parole board hearing tomorrow. We will bring you the very latest on that decision on air and on 10news.com.